I woke up this morning and the first thing on my mind was coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19. There is an invisible threat coming towards my front door. I feel unprotected and vulnerable. Walking around the supermarket on the 12th of March, there was a rising fear and panic that was palpable whilst observing the shelves of toilet rolls, tissues, baby products, <clears throat> emptying into people's trolleys, along with vitamin C with zinc and hand sanitizer. Panic was spreading amongst we humans as fast as the virus is approaching, or indeed, it was amongst us already. On the journey home, I decided to begin to offer my clients and supervisees the option of continuing to work online stopping at my office in order to close it, collecting plants and other essentials required to work from home. I felt sad and uncertain as I locked the door, leaving a space that I have always felt was filled with certainty. As a psychotherapist, I am used to people coming into that safe space, knowing somehow that I can be there for and with them in the best way possible, as mutually as I can, with my uncertainties about the future. I feel vulnerable. My first online video session changed a lot of that somehow because we were at a level and to all intents and purposes, we were in the same boat. No matter how much I might not want to have been, fact is we were. The clients were also in their home and I was in mine. No longer was the work taking place in my space this was a shared space, and I was getting an insight into the person's home as they were into mine. Offering psychotherapy and supervision online using video platforms is something I'm familiar with. Yet the COVID-19 experience was discombobulating. And in the session, the first session, I wondered if I could be of use at all, given that we were in the same boat, the same threat coming to our front door. During the session, I noticed my own worries interrupting and then we shared anxieties about COVID-19. I wondered if therapy was possible. Can I hold myself enough to be there for the other person? At times I was able to and other times not. And towards the end, I asked if it was useful at all. I was told that it was through connecting, sharing, saying out loud, what would usually be unspoken. And still I wondered. By that stage, I had picked up a last click and collect, shopping, and was self-isolated with my partner, managing to obtain disposable gloves before the price skyrocketed. Do you know, it was amazing how the panic had infiltrated life at that time, making the acquiring of the blue disposable gloves seem like a lifesaver. Somehow or other would keep COVID-19 at bay, when those on the front line of health services and other essential services were the ones at grave risk. I felt all over the place and at the same time attempting to be there for and with someone else, with both of us all over the place, it was hard.